Police were in a shootout with a suspected armed robbery suspect. Today, Superintendent Sean Ferguson released the surveillance video capturing the shootout. You can see from this map, the shootout spanned several blocks before police shot and killed robbery suspect Reginald Bercy. Five innocent people were injured. Chris Jackman walks us through the streets and the footage from Canal Street. We're here on Canal Street. This is where the first part of the shooting actually happened. You can see on the surveillance camera, captured by an NOPD crime camera, an NOPD car pulls up to the side here. The two officers get out of the car. They see the suspect, but the suspect also sees them. He quickly turns the gun around, shoots towards the officer, but in the process, the officer dodges, bends down, and it hits a 17-year-old girl in the process. The suspect, Reginald Bercy, then comes around this corner towards Elk Place, running from the cops. The shootout continues. In the process, another person gets injured. You can see this person fall on the ground here towards the wall. An officer then tries to render aid to that person. The shootout continues on the street down towards Tulane. While officers are chasing Bercy down this road, an RTA bus camera captures the shooting. One bullet after another, after another, after another. On that camera, you can see a man outside fall to the ground, and in the reflection of the mirror, people on the bus running for their life. The last and final moments of this epic shootout happen, and a surveillance camera captures it behind us here. The officers are running for the suspect. Then they are caught by surprise when the suspect starts shooting from the bushes over there. They exchange gunfire. Eventually, the suspect is shot, and he dies. All in all, five people are hurt in this shootout. Three people, they believe, by police guns, two by the suspect, Reginald Bercy. Let me be clear, at no point were our officers firing unless being fired at. It is so unfortunate that our officers were forced into this violent confrontation, which was initiated by the suspect, and five of our citizens were hurt. That has been the most difficult part for our officers during this situation. And we're working to provide assistance to them as well as to the victims that are involved. On Canal Street, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News.